A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. You know, I actually went online to search for that exact quote, and guess what? No explorer says such a quote. There was, however, this mountaineer named Edmund Hillary who said, People do not decide to become extraordinary, they decide to accomplish extraordinary things. Unfortunately for the developers, we're not going to let it slide just because you're paraphrasing it. Come on guys, did you really think that we were going to play through this entire game and not search for that quote to see if you're full of shit? I see the game didn't waste any time getting their Beats product placement out of the way. Game opens up with gorgeous photorealistic cinematics tricking everyone into thinking that the rest of the game is going to feature such cinematics. Ha <laughs> ha! Not! How does Roth pull Lara out of the water but in the very next sequence he's on the other side of the broken ship? Dream sequence fake out? Bullsh**! Square Enix! Uh, no, you should be burning alive right now, Lara. Game rips off the Eagle Vision mechanic from the Assassin's Creed series. Shouldn't your hair be on fire at this closer proximity? Where the hell did this guy come from? These god. Damn. Quick time. Events. You know, from where we're playing, this hole looks like it's at least at an 80 degree angle. I don't care how fast you're scrambling for your life. Gravity will defeat you. But apparently not in this game. Title of game appears after nearly 13 minutes of gameplay. You know, just in case you forgot what game you were playing. The lifeboat. Where are they? The lone survivor protagonist that has to search for their group cliche. The obligatory bird's eye view to make you realize how high up you are shot. Oh, and of course you have to slip for dramatic effect. Rainwater's bad for you. Convenient one match left is convenient. Original Tomb Raider inferiority music. Exposition by camcorder. Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Best friend of the protagonist trying to lighten up the mood because the protagonist is so consumed about their work cliche. She's not always this serious, you know? Oh, damn, Sam. Why aren't you the protagonist of this game? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history, so why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ha ha, twisted metal reference. Also, you have 30 years experience of what? Jerking off to Thai boys? Because if that's the case, that's hella sinful. Hipster Nathan Drake! It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. You mean you started this expedition without a plan? Why am I even here? To serve as this game's asshole character that will endanger other characters and possibly get them killed. Duh! Whoever hung this dude would never be dumb enough to not take his bow for their own hunting purposes. But, you know, the game demands it because... NEW GEAR ACQUIRED! I've got to find something to eat. So hungry. I need to find something to eat. Game heavily implies that hunting will be a necessity for survival. However, you will never have to do so throughout the remainder of the game once you get past this part. Really? Are you kidding me? You can have the best farming technique in the world. So, not only is Roth basically Von Croy from Last Revelation, but he's also God as well? But it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. Focus, focus, hocus, pocus. Exposition by journal reading. Oh man, Pete is gonna have a field day with this. Look, I know we already sinned these survival instincts for basically being this game's eagle vision, but it becomes extra sinful for also serving as navigation just in case you get lost. This is an adventure game, and a mechanic like that ruins the adventure aspect. This is Conrad Roth, Captain of the Endurance. This radio was completely silent until the game called for it. It was so horrible. It's all my fault. Protagonists saying it's their fault when it's really not cliche. Remember when we climbed Snowden? The secret to Edward Snowden's hideout is now exposed to the world. Obvious trap is obvious. I can't do that now. Exploration blocking. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. Yeah, there's no way you're this game's antagonist. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to miss. And I find this particularly confusing that Lara would get lost, seeing as how she said the same thing Matthias just said. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. 
Lara is apparently impervious to the pain of a bear trap, seeing as how she walks perfectly fine after the encounter with the wolves. <coughs> you wish you were as good as Link. Slow mo headshot. Is Sam with you? She was with you. How do you know Lara was with Sam? You weren't even with them earlier. She was here with that man, Matthias. Lara says that man, Matthias, casually, as if the other characters are supposed to know who the hell he is. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Raw? Okay. Let's split up. You all just got back together, bitch! After who knows how long. Why would you want to split up again? Because the game demands- Oh, fuck it. You sit, uh, you sit here. I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Jesus, now you're gonna leave her by herself again? After you just found her? Does anybody care about their companions in this game? I can't believe we're actually on an expedition to find the homeland of my ancestors. I never really gave it much thought that any of this could actually be real history. Except it is all real history. Geez, are the developers trying to pull off some reverse psychology here or something? Many thousands of years ago, Queen Himiko ruled the land of Yamatai. Blah, blah, blah. You literally just told this story like five minutes ago. The animation of these burning sacks. Could have warned me about the wolves, Doctor. Which makes me wonder why the wolves never attacked and killed Whitman when he was on his way through the woods. Could have saved us a lot of trouble. Lara doesn't know it, but I've been shooting footage of her too. Stalking. Gee, haven't played through this sort of sequence before. What are you buying, stranger? Is that old stranger? <laughs> Thank you. These are fascinating. This female image is particularly interesting. Whitman does a terrible job at hiding his archaeological sexual fantasies. A woman wields that much power, and sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. Well, that's a little sexist. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. As if we couldn't make it more obvious that Whitman is also a rat, here he is surrendering when he has the perfect opportunity to kill these assholes. Ah! Ah! Don't you fucking move. And not two seconds later, Lara moves within this ass clown's peripheral view and does nothing about it. And not only that, the dude completely disappears from this scene within a matter of seconds. Auto crouching. Like every other idiotic antagonist, this hobo decides to monologue instead of taking the perfect opportunity to kill the protagonist and be done with it. Dude gets shot through the brain at point blank range and still scoffs for several seconds before dying. I'm sorry guys, but I've seen a guy get shot through the brain and the motherfucker is dead. As in dead. No body twitching, nothing. Once you strike through the brain, the central nervous system ceases to function. At all. Bullet time. Burn her out. Random enemies spawn and attack after not existing the entire previous sequence. Just in case you forgot how to use the bow, nearly two hours into the game. Ah, oh, multiplayer? These water effects. Stupid AI. Roth is a terrible shot. Roth, I'm coming! So am I. Thank God you're alive. Oh. Our God's got nothing to do with it. Blasphemy! Ooh, wolf sounds are scary. Except we already fought wolves earlier on in the game, so this tension is pointless. I just want the pack. That's all. Why is Lara talking like she's trying to negotiate with the wolves? What is a young lady like you learn to do a thing like that? <laughs> That's sexist. You can do it, Lara. After all, you're a croft. <sighs> what the hell is this? You know, it's kind of amazing how you're able to keep this torch lit with all this rain pouring down. Nothing! There's no one up here! They never make it up this far! Hooray for irony! I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this, cliche. Huh? You mean to tell me that she's had the camcorder on her this whole time and it didn't break? And that it still functions even in this rainfall? It's a basic camcorder, not a GoPro. Also, more exposition by camcorder. I'd like to think that Reyes is basically bootleg Anaya. So we have Sam, the ditzy best friend, Roth, the mentor, Reyes, the love interest of the mentor who also has a gripe with the protagonist, 
Jonah the teddy bear emotional comfort, Grim the tough guy, and Alex the hipster who makes wise ass remarks because he thinks it makes him look cool. Jeez, it's like they ripped an entire chapter from the character cliche book. Yeah, you got... Good old cut, cut, cut! I see that Whitman loves to play the hominin game. The audience demands content. It's like Sam is talking directly to us. That's what my father used to say. Now there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. Wow, so we have a woman on a journey that ultimately leads to her discovering her full potential. Dead parent cliche. Woman that is basically invulnerable to any sort of damage done to her and survives fatal wounds. Hell, this is practically a superhero game. Except it's not. Aw, oh, come on, you're gonna award me 20 XP on a headshot when dude is practically dead? That's cheap! Now, light her up! I see these assholes like to play the hominin game as well. Fast travel. Alex, are you there? Yeah. Convenience! The console's a wreck. Well, unless you see a radio shack around. You're gonna have to patch in manually through the maintenance panel. Alex makes a casual reference to Radio Shack in a 2013 game and thinks it holds any relevance. Invisible enemies? I'm coming for you! I'm sure glad that our enemies are dumb enough to let us know when they're attacking so that we can pop a cap in their ass. That was easy. Really? Are you seriously trying to compare? No. Just... no. And on that note, game makes all of you that are afraid of heights piss your pants. <laughs> Laura Croft, you are my hero! Which makes you no different than millions of gamers on planet Earth. Gaming franchise that helped inspire Uncharted uses Uncharted-style gameplay. The sound effects of the enemy's guns. One moment they were fine, the next. There was this storm. It came out of nowhere. It's not your fault, Lara. I called them here, Roth. Really, Lara? That's your excuse? You guys are stranded on an island. Your ship is wrecked. How the f*** else are you going to get off the island if not call for help? I know about sacrifices. No. You know about loss. Sacrifice is a choice you make. Loss is a choice made for you. I think those ancient Aztecs and Romans would disagree with you there, Roth. Okay. These are probably Maitake mushrooms, used to boost the immune system, also known as dancing mushrooms. Game steals Mario's mushrooms. Are you with Lara? Yes. We'll be uh, heading down the mountain soon to meet up with you. She'll be coming down the mountain when she comes. I'm a dick to warthogs. Revealing where a secret tomb is in an adventure game is a failure of game design. How does this asshole not see me? I'm no expert at motion or gravity, but shouldn't she be swinging instead of falling straight down? Any sign of Sam? Yeah, we tracked her to some old Japanese palace. I don't like the sound of that. That's racist! Captain Jessup? Captain Jessup was completely silent until the game called for it. Whoa, how did Osmond Sadler end up in this game? The Oni! The Guardians are here! I see the Oni possess the power of teleportation. The obligatory first person point of view at critical plot moments. Unnecessary. Inception. Come on, get out! Boys. Well, this is a pretty ineffective way of tying someone up, especially when you have everyone else tied upside down. I hate tombs. Ha ha. Lara Croft wears double earrings and they haven't been ripped out yet. Regenerative health. Is that thing? I believe one of the enemies already said what it is. The Oni! The Guardians are here! Game gives a hearty f you to physics. The sin here is that Lara isn't already plummeting when she sprints through the broken wooden planks. Hello? Sam! It's Lara! Oh, Sam's in this game! I almost forgot. 
By the power of the glitches, I grant levitation to thee! And just like that, the command button disappears. Video game cliche number 21. Every damn action adventure game has to have a shantytown level in it. The obligatory torture sound in an area to remind you how f***ed you are. This slider is kind of pointless, seeing as how she already got that fire striker earlier on. I mean, I know it's for the fire arrows, but you can't make fire arrows if you don't have a flammable substance to coat the tip of the arrow with. Wait, she's just now treating that wound? The same wound that she got at the beginning of the game? So she's gone through all that chaos getting banged up left and right with that open wound on this dirty ass island, and it didn't get infected? F*** outta here. Lara Croft is Wolverine. This really is a superhero game. Where are you, girl? I'm in some kind of shanty town near the Fortify Palace. I'm still coming down the hill. How did you get there so fast? Hey, Roth, did you forget you had a broken leg? Wow, really? You're gonna tell me how to switch arrow types after I got done killing all these assholes? I'm getting trapped, I'm getting trapped, and getting trapped inside the walls. Game says, F you, you're not allowed to go to that area. This thing just disappears. Enemy on PCP. Lara, get alive! Just barely. Where are the others? Still locked up inside, but I know where they are. Grim, how the hell did you get separated from the group? You were with them earlier. Plus, you were the one that said, You girls should me go one and off. A game called Tomb Raider with only seven tombs to be raided. Granted, we're on an island, but that's no excuse. More invisible enemies? An old man dies, a young woman lives. Fair trade. Grim. I'll make them pay. I'll make them pay for what they did to you, cliche. Hey, come on, there she is! Cut the line! Dumbass, why would you cut the rope when you can just shoot her with the arrows? Like you're doing right now. Also, you two are a terrible shot. I got her! Saving the hero in the nick of time, cliche. Bullet POV. Stop and go nonsense. Stop! Hold it. Almost got him. Move! Stop! Wait. Wait. So, they just stopped shooting at her? Oh wow, Matthias is really trying to channel his inner Saddler now. You can clearly see Dimitri taking the bow, but when they take Lara to the chamber, Nikolai is the one carrying the bow. Yeah, let's just stand here like idiots even though she's the one that attacked us first. We interrupt this Tomb Raider game to bring you the movie The Descent. Lara Croft drenched in blood, and she still looks sexy. That's not a sin. I just want that on record. <laughs> so you think you're the Joker now? You are the sun. You are the light. You are the storm that rages at night. Solari Ass Clown thinks he's Edgar Allan Poe. Hey, don't rile them up. We're working here. Really? Looks to me like you guys are just standing around doing nothing. Typical idiots celebrating before they're free from capture. All right. Escaping from a burning building cliche. Well, that was random. Yeah, sure, Lara's in a burning building right now, but she still has all the time in the world to shuffle through these documents to reveal crucial plot details. It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. The it's gonna be okay when it's really not cliche. Turt cliche. Laura, climb over. Come on. Head for Roth. I'll follow. How many times in this game so far has Laura met back up with Sam only to break away from her again? Jeez, she's worse than me with my relationships. <sighs> Random spawning enemy. Hardy har har. Get to the chopper. Derp derp derp. You know, this right here is some straight up bullshit. Dude is burning alive, clinging on to her for dear life, and she herself is not getting burned alive. You know what? Just for that stupidity, I'ma let her die. Whoa! Ralph! Where are you? I'm here, girl. 
Chopper pops out of nowhere just in the nick of time to save the protagonist, cliché. Uh, she's already grabbing your hand. We have to land! No way! Not in this weather! F***ing serious? You don't think you can land in this weather, but you think you can fly in it? No! Roth's dead, and that sucks. Except you already saw this coming from the beginning of the game, so I guess you could say mentor character that ends up dying cliche. Haha, -ha, not so subtle foreshadowing. Are you okay, Lara? That is a really stupid question to be asking right now, Sam. But that's not why this is a sin. It's a sin because from this point on, Sam doesn't really seem to give a shit that Roth is dead. Is she okay? Because it's all about Lara, isn't it? Well, this is a Tomb Raider game, so... Yep. Reyes looks nothing like this woman in this terribly photoshopped picture. The storms. They're linked to the power of the Sun Queen. That's what's stopping us leaving. Note to all developers out there, if the player can figure out the plot before the protagonist can, you have failed at storytelling. Try not to do it. Hey, if you're hiding, come out. Better to give up now before the dogs find you. Kenny? Is that you? How'd you end up in this game? Nighttime when we go in the cave. Morning when we come out of the cave. Oh, thank goodness we get that rope ascended later on in the game. We interrupt this Tomb Raider game to bring you Silent Hill. This is not a sin at all. I just want you all to admire the gorgeous, detailed environments on display. Embrace the beauty of nature. Oh, but wait! What's that over there? An area we can't get to? Never mind. Ding! Another turret cliche. <laughs> Bullshit. Bunny hopping. But big ideas and grand plans will only get us so far. Tell that to Bill Gates. I'm not Jonah in this scene. You saw the smoke coming from the mountain. We'll go in at nightfall. Game thinks they can reuse Gavin Hammond's voice for a different character and that I'm not gonna notice it. Look, another word and I swear to God I'll start smashing that expensive dentistry of yours. Stop. Mad black woman stereotype. Wait for it. Wait for it. And boom, shakalaka laka. <laughs> All too easy. Lip sync fail. Hmm. Nothing. It's quiet. If they're out there, I don't know what they're waiting for. Why can't I kill you? Okay, Reyes, I'm getting close to the endurance. What do you need exactly? Whoa, whoa, hold up. Alex is just now getting to the endurance? Then why did Jonah just say like five minutes ago that Alex should have been back by now? What's wrong? Alex should have been back by now. Clearly the guy has been gone for a long time and he's just now getting to the endurance? Lazy bastard. David vs. Goliath complex. Unfortunately, this is the closest thing to teabagging as we're gonna get in this game. Discount Shakira. Also, Laura and Sam look nothing like these pretty ladies in this obviously photoshopped picture. Aha, here we go again, starting off just like the opening cinematic. Well... That looks like my dance career is over. <laughs> Character making a wise-ass remark while they're on the verge of death cliche. Pity kiss. This place is cursed. Well, there was no way we were gonna get through a game featuring supernatural elements without someone saying, This place is cursed. This place is cursed. <laughs> Calm down. We got orders from the man. No one goes in or out. Game reuses Gavin Hammond's voice for a third freaking time. Literally the only puzzle in the entire game. All right, this is it. The this is it cliche. The inability to use this katana as a weapon. Who cares if it's broken? Lara herself said it was still sharp. It's still sharp. You know how sick it would be to use a blade in today's Tomb Raider games? The soul is trapped in a decaying body. That's what's causing the storms. To stop the storms, we need to destroy the body in the ritual chamber. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a slow derp clap to Lara Croft. She finally figured out what every other gamer has figured out hours ago. 
Look, I don't have all the answers, but Sam being taken, I know it's linked. And if we try to leave here without understanding why, then we'll all die. Just like the pilots. Just like Roth. Uh, not to be too nitpicky, but Roth died by Matthias's hands, not the storm. Buggy, 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 I can't talk to Reyes. My name is Dr. James Whitman. I come to you in peace. Characters saying they come in peace when they really don't, cliche. How do they not see her? The most fun part of the game doesn't include more enemies to make it more challenging. David vs. Goliath Complex Part 2 Lame. That means we only get to fight one Oni in the final boss battle instead of two. Do you think that you're the hero, Lara? Everything I've done, I did to survive. How many lives have you taken to do the same? Is it bad that even at this point I don't consider Matthias a villain? I think it is. Can't tell if he's a well fleshed out character or the writers tried too hard to make him seem like a bad guy. Well, we won't get clarification, so we're gonna count it as a sin. Hmm, I see Lara is also impervious to the cold as well. Wasn't she basically freezing her ass off in the beginning of the game and it wasn't even that cold? I mean, yeah, you can give the excuse that her skin has thickened since the beginning of the game, but since the believability of that is pretty damn low, we're gonna count it as a sin. You wanna know what would have made this part more interesting? Is if they included a timer for you to save Sam before the ritual completes. It would have made the game a lot more fun. Should have died right there. David vs. Goliath. Oh, f it. Seriously, the weakness of the final boss is that they have a part with no armor? And nobody on this island has figured that out by now? Shake my head in disgust. And this is why the timer would have made things more believable. Here we are 10 minutes later and the ritual is still continuing. Jeez, transferring soul power is slower than downloading a song on a dial-up connection. Haha, ha, fan service. Soul blocking. It's a ray of light. Riding off into the sunset cliche. A meaningless mention of day unknown as if that actually matters at this point. Wait, Steve Austin? What? Advertisement for the definitive edition, which is what the standard edition should have been. No new game plus that unlocks all the alternate costumes and the hardest difficulty for us longtime Tomb Raider fans to enjoy. Fuck you, game.
getting off this goddamn island. Some days I'm convinced we're all in hell already. <laughs>